So if you recently bought yourself an M4 iPad Pro and for whatever reason it just isn't for you, so what you want to do is return it back to Apple because you are still within your cooling off period or send it back to wherever it is you've bought it from or maybe it's a bit further down the line and you want to gift your iPad to somebody else or again it could be further down the line and you are wanting to sell on your iPad to somebody else. Well, in all of those scenarios you are going to have to do a factory reset which is what I'm going to show you in this video. Now just two quick things to mention before I show you how to do the factory reset. First thing is if you've got any important documents on your iPad things such as photos or videos make sure that they have been backed off or backed up and you can do that to your iCloud account or any kind of like cloud service or even to some external storage. However during during the reset procedure the iPad will actually prompt you to do an iCloud backup of any documents that you may have on your iPad. And then the second thing to mention is to just make sure that your iPad is fully charged before you do the factory reset. However, and in any event anyways, the iPad will not go into a factory reset unless it knows it's got enough power. So if there isn't enough power, the iPad will actually prompt you to go and charge it further anyways. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to go into settings. So I'm just going to tap on the settings icon here. Now once in settings, on the left hand side here, make sure that we have got the general option selected here. And then on the right hand side on this sub menu, we need to just scroll down to the bottom and close to the bottom we are going to see transfer or reset iPad. So we need to tap into there. Now in here we're going to have two options. One says reset and the other one says erase all content and settings. Now we need to choose erase all content and settings because if we just choose reset, we're just going to get a number of individual things that we can reset and that will not do a complete factory reset. So like I've just said, we need to select erase all content and settings. So that's what I'm going to do. Now at this point it's just going to prompt us and let us know that we are indeed going to erase this iPad and we're going to get messages here just to tell us that this is obviously not something that you can undo or anything and it's going to tell us here that it's going to be the apps and the data, the Apple ID and Find My that is all going to be removed from the iPad. So what I'm going to do now is just click on continue says here, are you sure you want to erase all media, content and settings? This cannot be undone. So once again, yes, that's fine because we do definitely want to do a total factory reset. So I'm going to click on erase iPad. Now I'm just going to have to put in my passcode. Now at this point, it is going to do an upload to the iCloud as we can see here. However, I'm not too bothered about the data that's on this, so I'm gonna skip this in a second. However, I would strongly suggest that if you haven't backed off the data that's on your iPad, you allow this to continue to do the iCloud update. And then at least later on, when you go to another iPad or another Apple device, you can still get access to the data that was on this particular iPad. So what I'm gonna do now is just do the skip back up here because I don't need to do this. Okay, now at this point, it's now going to ask us for the password for our Apple ID. So let me just put that in. And then I'm just going to tap enter. And then as we can see there, the iPad has now switched itself off and it is going to go into its reset mode. So we're going to see some progress and indications going on there. However, this might take a little bit of time. So what I'm going to do is just to fast forward a little bit until it gets to the next stage of the reset. So after about a minute or so, you will notice that the iPad will look like it has switched itself off a couple of times. Then we will eventually get to the hello screen as we have done here. At this point, you are now safe in the knowledge of knowing that your iPad has now been completely factory reset and it no longer has any of your personal information on it. If you have found this video useful, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you found it super useful, then a sub to the channel would be absolutely awesome. I'm David Hyde. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.